Hey guys, it's Angela from Mountains in the Sea, and today I'm finally going to show you guys how we replace that black glass in the top of our RV cabinets with cane webbing. So there's a little finished product of what it came out as, and then we're going to show you guys the process. So the first thing we did was take off all the cabinets, obviously, and we were painting them, and so at this point we committed, we're going to see what happens if we do this. So Phil's using a flashlight that's like a survival flashlight that has a glass breaking point on it and just breaking out all the glass. Uh, we tried just pulling it out with the glue and everything, but it was really stuck in there. So we had to break it, then pull out the pieces. Obviously, make sure you wear gloves <laughs> so you don't cut yourself. And yeah, that went well. So we got all the pieces out. And then this is actually the Etsy page where I ordered the cane webbing. We ended up getting radio weave, which is that crisscross pattern instead of the um, circular pattern, just because we thought it was kind of cute and we liked the pattern. And then I read that you should soak it and dry it off before you use it so that it's kind of damp while you put it in and that gives it a nice tight, um, so it's not like loose when you staple it in and also it makes it lay flat. So here it is on the cabinet frame and we actually put a little line of liquid nails and then stapled it in. I don't know if the liquid nails was actually necessary because it got all over our staple gun, but it did stay in super well. So <laughs> that's what we did. And um, yeah, that's how it looked. It looked really good. So we decided to trim off the extra. It was actually pretty easy to cut. And um, side note, we kind of picked the radio weave also because our RV is kind of like music themed. So we thought that was pretty fun <laughs> to have radio weave. And yeah, we're loving how it came out at this point. We were really happy we went for it because I was kind of scared that we were going to ruin the cabinets, but came out really cute. And this is the inside. They're both drying. And then we put them back up in the RV and they came out great. Phil's drilling them back up and laughing because his face looks kind of orange <laughs> with the filter. And um, the girls liked them too, so that was good, got their approval. And here I am just with a little tour video um, showing the finished product. I like how they came out really, the radio weaves in there really tightly. And um, there's a little rough on the inside, but not bad, like you really don't notice it and they hold everything in really well. They've stayed really secure traveling all over the country. So really happy about that. And we just stow little stuff up there anyway, so nothing too big or bulky um, pushing against the cane webbing. So yeah, it stayed up there. We really like how it is more of a boho look and a little bit more modern and natural looking than that black glass um, for our style anyway. We like that it has that nice wood tone as well to pull that in a little bit more. And here's the finished product. Just some after videos. Uh, one more time, here's the before. That's how it looked before we painted or took out the glass. And here's the after. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.